Now to our NBC News in-depth coverage tonight. We've heard U.S. officials say many times in the past they're doing everything they can to give this nation's men and women in uniform the best possible equipment. But tonight, after a five-month-long investigation, we have a rare look inside the Pentagon and a battle over a promising weapon system that the U.S. Army won't buy. Our senior investigative correspondent Lisa Myers is with us for our exclusive report tonight. Lisa, good evening. Good evening, Brian. Pentagon sources tell NBC News that the U.S. Army blocked a plan that might have given American troops more protection against one of the deadliest weapons used by insurgents. It's a favorite weapon of insurgents in Iraq and Afghanistan. The rocket-propelled grenade, or RPG. Cheap, easy to use, deadly. In Iraq, these weapons have killed more than 132 Americans, including 21-year-old private Dennis Miller. They were in Ramadi, and his tank was hit with a rocket-propelled grenade. Little Denny never knew what hit him. 16 months ago, commanders in Iraq began asking for help, sending the Pentagon urgent requests for a new system to counter RPGs. Last year, a special Pentagon unit thought it found a solution here in Israel, a high-tech system that literally shoots RPGs out of the sky. The system is called Trophy, and here it's mounted on a striker fighting vehicle like those in Iraq. It essentially works this way. Radar shown here scans all directions and automatically detects when an RPG is launched. It then fires an interceptor that destroys the RPG safely away from the vehicle. Here it is in slow motion from a recent test, intercepting an RPG before it reaches its target. The Israeli military, which recently lost a number of tanks and troops to RPGs, is rushing to deploy trophy. Colonel Didi Ben Yoash helped develop the system, and his company stands to profit from any sales. We have uh, uh, well above uh, 90 percent of uh, kill probability. 90 percent? Uh, well above 90 percent kill probability. How confident are you that this system can save American lives? I am fully confident on that. So are officials at the Pentagon's Office of Force Transformation, which tested the system 30 times and which found it more than 98 percent effective at killing RPGs. Those officials decided to buy several trophies, which cost $300,000 to $400,000 each, for battlefield trials on strikers in Iraq next year. But the Pentagon's Office of Force Transformation immediately ran into a roadblock, strong opposition from the U.S. Army. Why? Pentagon sources tell NBC News the Army brass considers the Israeli system a threat to an Army program to develop an RPG defense system from scratch. The $70 million contract for that program had been awarded to an Army favorite, Raytheon. Colonel Donald Kochman is in charge of the Army program. Best case scenario, what year could the Raytheon system actually be deployed in the field? FY11. That's right. Army speak for 2011, five years from now. So your message to our troops in Afghanistan and Iraq is, don't worry, guys, we'll get you something in the field in five years. Our message to our soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan is, is we are doing everything prudent to provide for your protection and your safety. Kochman insists the Israeli system is not ready to be deployed by the U.S. Trophy has not demonstrated its capability to be successfully integrated into a system and continue to perform its wartime mission. That claim, however, is disputed by other Pentagon officials and internal documents obtained by NBC News, including this email from a senior official which says, Trophy is a system that is ready today. We need to get this capability into the hands of our warfighters ASAP because it will save lives. So why would the Army block a solution that might help troops? There are some in the Army who would be extremely concerned that if the trophy system worked, then the Army would have no need to go forward with the Raytheon system and the program might be terminated. For families of soldiers like Dennis Miller, any delay in getting help to the troops is unthinkable. Do they have children over there? Do they have husbands or wives over there? 
they, they need to sit back and look at it maybe from a different angle. I just think it's ridiculous. Some senior Pentagon officials claim the Army is more concerned about protecting its turf than about protecting its troops. The Pentagon is now trying to interest the Marine Corps in testing trophy, but because of Army opposition, there are now no plans to send this system to Iraq. Brian. Lisa, thanks for that. Our in-depth reporting tonight from Lisa Myers in Washington.